What's up everybody, Ted here, TNT Strike and Conditioning. We're gonna go over the workout of the month for July. It's the end of July now, my athletes crushed it. It proved to bring success to everybody. We're gonna go through it quick. What you got here is workout A. This is a lower body workout, we're going heavy. We're starting off with jumps, any jumps, uh, mix it up, 20 total. And jump rope, three minutes total. Try to work up to being able to do three minutes nonstop. And these jumps you can mix between box jumps, frog jumps, broad jumps, bounty jumps, jump over objects, side jumps, squat jumps, have fun with it. Then over here we have any squat. We're rotating the squat each week. So uh, barbell squat, sandbag squat, kettlebell squat, safety squat, bar, box squat. Mix it up. The rep schemes after a good warm up, two sets of five, three sets of three, working up to a heavy three. And then as my uh, guys that are also power lifting and multi-sport athletes, they worked up to a couple singles uh, as the day was fit. Then we went over to sumo deadlifts, crushed five working sets of three. Same thing throughout the month when it was a good day, we might hit a heavy single. Moving on to uh, farmer walks, the turf's a 50 foot each direction, so down and back, three rounds of 100, coupled with split squats, three per leg. That's three rounds. Then we got band pull downs, we'd hook them up in a power rack and pull them down more like a uh, pull up, not out in front. Uh, three sets of 10. Upright row with the kettlebell. That's how we stuck with it for the whole month. Proved to be really awesome. Finished with gripping abs, had squeezing, um, dumbbells, heck holds, pinching plates, captains of crush, gripper, and wrist curls. I let my guys just kind of have fun with that. Uh, this is a warm up. We didn't always do it specific to the day, but just take a quick peek. Uh, body weight, we go squat, push up, recline row, walking lunge, bear crawl, crab crawl, sit ups. That would be after like movement stuff, jumping, skipping, hopping on one leg. All right, moving on to workout B. The next uh, workout in the cycle is an upper body, and it's a strength workout, a heavy workout similar to that. Battle ropes, five sets, sub max, changing the way you do it each time. Moving on to any press. So that press didn't have to be a bench press. It'd be, uh, it could be a bench press, a dumbbell bench, a floor press, overhead press, log press, seesaw press with dumbbells out in the front, on the sides. You know, we changed it each time, and I uh, assigned a different one to each athlete based on their needs. But we kept the rep scheme pretty much the same which, uh, with a, a warm-up, one or two warm-up sets, and then two sets of five, three sets of three, and uh, if the powerlifting guys worked up to a single here and there, just so I could kind of see where they're at. <clears throat> and then we kind of did some speed training with plyo push-ups. We did six sets of three, and we couple that with the slam, slam ball shoulder. So from the ground, one motion over the shoulder, one side, two side, that'd be one, one, two, two, all the way down. That was four sets on that, six sets on that. Then we did band tricep push downs, four sets of 10. Dumbbell curls, four sets of 10. Muscle building in the arms to make all this other stuff uh, go better, right? You're pushing and pressing. Then a kettlebell or dumbbell shrug, three sets, 12 to 15 reps, coupled with pull ups if you could do pull ups or recline rows. And some guys, they're trying to practice their pull ups so they get two, three, four, or five. So whatever they could get, then they'd finish off with recline rows. So if you can only get two pull ups, two pull ups right over recline row, finish it off to build the body up to be able to bang out 10 plus push up, uh, recline rows. And then dip bar leg raise, sub max. Here is the warm up. Uh, like I said, the same as that one. I would mix up the days on these warm ups, but um, not always. Sled drag, push up plus, one arm clean and press, any carry, any ab band pull apart. We've been doing that one for a while. It, it seems to prove good. And over here was uh, speed day, which you won't typically see this in an athletic training, but it has a tremendous carryover for athletic speed. It's a very power lifting influence. So um, burpees, three sets of six, weighted squat jumps, five sets of three. And mind you, this stuff that's up here on all the boards will be after the warm up, okay? So warm up, this. And then after that, we would go box squats, eight sets of two at about 60% of the athlete's um, best squat that we've already kind of established. Uh, and we'd add chains, two, uh, one chamber side or two chamber side, depending on, on their squat to get that percentage in that 75 to 80% total bar weight. That's weight plus chain. All right, and deadlift, same thing. Eight doubles, 60%. So we're looking for moving the bar fast and efficient over and over and over again, teaching the body to produce force and to be fast. Then this is a really tough circuit. Uh, looks simple, but it's hard. Three rounds, sandbag carry, 100 foot, trap bar carry, 100 foot, then come back and grab the sled. So we'd bring it down and back, grab the next object, down and back, and then the sled drag down and back without stopping three rounds um, <laughs> after the, the intense speed training. It really um, it really kills you. Now the push-up push row, 
wide base, set of push-ups with dumbbells. When you get to the top, you're rowing the dumbbell. Three, uh, three sets, three each side or five each side, depending on your skill and strength. And lunge jump, same thing, three or five. And then we did any extra credit. So if I get an athlete who needs to work on his triceps or shoulders or shoulder health, or maybe he's not good at jumping, those are the weaknesses. Or sometimes it's something you want to get after it. Like I let the athletes kind of decide that. Sometimes they ask me, what should I do? and I give them ideas, or I just kind of let them pick and have fun with it because you don't always need the coach to tell you everything. You gotta learn to kind of think for yourself. And I, I just wanna talk about the speed. This was intense. You could do 60% easy, or you could do 60% like it's your 100% max. That's what we're looking for. Maximum intensity and acceleration on the bar. All right, quick warm up, yoga push up, kettlebell snatch, three per side, kettlebell swing, that's one armed, Six per side, jumping jacks, we do three different versions, regular, a, a crossing like a scissor style, and then a little mobility, hands clapping behind the back, and then one arm carry, 100 foot each arm. Now I want you to take a look at this saying right here. The champion knows it starts inside the mind. Always believe. You have to believe in it. I took that from the Ultimate Warrior, very inspiring to me. So here it is, workout of the month, July. Crush it, questions, comments, hit me up. I'll answer your stuff. I'm getting ready to put on August workout. We'll go over that towards the end of the month. Uh, peace.